With the world's largest arms importer on a buying spree, global vendors are lining up their products. At the recently conducted Defence Expo 2012, New Delhi saw global defence giants competing with each other in search of a deal. The 7th edition of Asia's biggest land and naval defence systems exhibition saw 580 exhibitors from over 30 countries showcasing their technological dexterity. We appreciate the professionalism uh, of the Indian uh, defense forces, and I uh, think being a world leader in those on those systems, uh, we are a suitable candidate to sell in India, and of course, also good for our business. Besides selling weapons, the Israel-based company has agreed to develop and manufacture defense products locally in collaboration with an Indian private company. Rafil is not an isolated example of companies looking to establish local production units. A Russian company, Izmash, is also keen to manufacture its assault rifles in India. We believe this is uh, a big market for our products and we are ready to establish cooperation with uh, uh, Ministry of Defense and other uh, governmental and state agencies uh, to establish local manufacturing for, this, for our products. Currently, 70% of India's weapons are procured globally with Russia accounting 80% of the sales. India, the world's biggest weapon buyer, is currently engaged in upgrading its aging military hardware. In the 2012 budget, the government has increased defense spending by 18% to 40 billion US dollars. With the projected growth of the Indian economy expected at a trajectory of 8 to 10% For the next two decades, expenditure on defence in absolute terms is bound to increase substantially. India is acquiring a slew of new equipment, including combat aircrafts, submarines, and artillery. This high-scale defence modernisation is expected to gain momentum, and is likely that India could double its defence spending up to 80 to 100 billion dollars by 2020.